Hey everyone, welcome to Drawing the Facts, a series where I draw different stuff and during my drawing process I give out fun facts about the stuff I draw. I can't wait to jump in, but first I want to get a quick shout out to two YouTube channels, one being Fun to Draw and the other is 107 Facts, created by Federator Studios. These two channels really did push me into wanting to do a series like this, since I love to draw and you know it's kind of fun like digging into like you know different informations of the things that you like. So yeah, most definitely go out and uh, you know check out these channels. Especially fun to draw. Mayu is a really talented artist, um, and I definitely recommend just checking her channel out. Now with that said, on to the video. For my first video, I chose a certain anime character that's very popular nowadays. Uh, you can say he really packs a punch. One Punch Man is not in this video. But I will save him for another day. For this video, I'm going to focus on another character that really packs a punch. You can say he's a certain green-haired teenager who is working to become the world's number one hero. That's right. I'm going to be drawing Izuku Midoriya, aka Deku, from My Hero Academia. But there is a twist. I'm going to draw Deku without his powers. So let's fly right into this. This is Drawing the Facts on Quirkless Deku. Let's start with some basic info on My Hero Academia. Izuku Midoriya is a protagonist from the hit manga and anime series My Hero Academia, or in a Japanese title, is Boku no Hero Academia, which is created by 32-year-old manga artist Kohei Horikoshi. My Hero Academia was a manga that was published in July 7, 2014, and was featured in the weekly Shonen Jump. His media has released an English version, which came out on August 4, 2015. Individual chapters were released in November 4, 2014. Before Boku no Hero became to be, Horikoshi created other manga series, including Omagadoki Zoo, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which started off in July 2010 and ended on April 18, 2011, and created Barrage, which started in May 21, 2012 and ended in September 10, 2012. The anime adaption has ran from April 3, 2016 and is currently in Season 3 with 63 episodes. It is animated by Studio Bones, who have also done shows such as Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Eureka 7, and a new Netflix series, Dragon Pilot. You can catch episodes of My Hero on the block of Toonami, which is aired on Cartoon Network on Saturdays. The English dub is produced by Funimation. My Hero first started out as a one-shot manga called, well, My Hero in 2008. Before he became the 14-year-old high school student we all know, Izuku was actually originally named Jack Midoriya, who was a salaryman working at a company that sold superhero equipment. Jack was too ill to be a hero, but was yearned to become one in his own right using superpower gear and determination. Of course, the older downtrodden Jack was later changed to the awkward teen Izuku. Horikoshi also gave him a little bit of a haircut too. I can see why. Jack's illness was also transferred to the character All Might in the final concept. Deku's voice is portrayed by Daiki Yamashita in the Japanese version, while in the English dub is voiced by Justin Briner. A fun fact about the names of the characters is that Horikoshi wanted to name them after not only their powers, but also their personalities. For Izuku Midoriya, his name is a combination of Japanese kanji characters, meaning coming out or being from a certain place and long ago. His surname, Midoriya, contains kanji for green and valley. And I do agree that green is a good look for him. The nickname Deku is a name in Japanese meaning wooden doll or a useless person. This meaning is mostly used as an insult used by the character Bakugo to pretty much belittle and bully Deku. However, Izuku kept it as a hero name after another student, Achako, used the word as a comparison to the Japanese term Ganabare, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which means you can do it. This also comes out as the term Dekaru. The kanji for ku in Deku also means nine, 
meaning Deku is the ninth user of the One for All power. Oh, so it looks like the drawing is coming really good. Good, I'm coming close to doing the coloring for it. Uh, so, just getting on this information about the origins of Izuku and how he became to be and how Boku no Hero first started is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this kind of drawing. I do think that Hirokoshi did an amazing job of taking a story about uh, someone without powers and giving them these powers and having them go through these trials and tribulations to, to controlling these powers and becoming their own person. I just always kind of question though, you know, what it would be like if Deku just didn't have any powers. If he didn't inherit the powers of One for All from All Might, what would he do? Would he stay at the sidelines and just let the pro heroes, you know, do their thing? Or would he actually, you know, take matters in his own hands and, you know, do something? So I kind of wanted to draw him, see him, you know, use his own kind of resources, his own skills and knowledge to you know make his own suit and you know kind of be his own kind of hero and i'm really am happy of how it's like turning out right now now back to the facts horikoshi was inspired by both western and eastern superheroes his favorite american hero is spider-man who shares some similarities with deku in this version, since Izuku is becoming a hero without quirks, his abilities are based off of heroes like Batman and Iron Man, with the exception of not being a billionaire. Some people can feel a hero fighting evil in his own right as a vigilante, and that's why this concept is used in a spin-off manga called Vigilantes, My Hero Academia Illegals, created by Hideyuki Furuhashi and illustrated by Benton Court. Vigilantes debuted on August 20, 2016, and is presented as a more darker and grittier story in the world of My Hero. You can check out the mangas on the Viz Media website. The story follows a college student named Koichi Haimowari, I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at these names, aka The Crawler, who is recruited and trained to becoming a vigilante crime fighter under the guidance of the fearless Mr. Oguro, aka Knuckle Duster. Jack Midoriya and the character Knuckle Duster were both inspirations for this drawing due to the fact that they both don't have a quirk. Yet they kick a whole lot of butt. Have you seen this dude throw down? It is brutal. Another character that kind of inspired me to do this drawing is a certain pink haired mad genius, Mei Hitsume from UA's Department of Support from the show and manga. Mei Hitsume's first appearance in the manga was in chapter 25, and her debut in the anime series was in episode 15. Another fun fact about Mei's character is that she is the best girl in my harem. Yes, she is the best. Fight me. But for real though, I can see Deku going to Mei for any kind of assistance on gears and weapons to use. I actually do think that her and Melissa Shield can be a good help for him. Melissa Shield is a character from the first My Hero Academia film, Two Heroes, which was released on July 5th, 2018 at the Anime Expo and August 3rd, 2018 in Japan. Okay, looks like I'm at the halfway mark. I'm almost there. So, in terms of trying to figure out what I want to do with Deku, since he's not going to use his you know, original powers, I think the best way to present him is having him fly. Fly in the sky. Or, I guess, maybe jump really high, as he did in the, in the show and manga. I knew I had to give him some equipment and gear to have him, you know, jump from place to place, and so that he can battle against any kind of foe, big or small. Well, mostly big. And for some reason, instead of having him punch out a evil villain, uh, like a villain from the show or any kind of bad guy, I had him punch a block of wood. But all of this will be explained very soon. Okay, let's talk more about Deku's gear. Deku's goggles are not just modeled after aviation goggles for flying around. They're also inspired by a more steampunk kind of style goggles. Steampunk has been rooted from science fiction authors such as Jules Verne and H.G. Wells. The name of steampunk, however, came from K.W. Jeter and was used as a term to describe his book's subgenre. 
Deku's power gloves are based off of his original gloves as well as a high power stun glove. Stun gloves can be homemade. All you need is a taser, sports glove, thin material glove, metal rivets, thin wire, basic tools, and tape to make. But be cautious. Deku's ability to fly around his drawing is thanks to his jet shoes, which are similar to Tony Stark's jet boots. But Iron Man also inspired NASA to design a patent cool jet shoes. Although they are not in usage, NASA is hoping for someone to solve a way to make a person fly using these shoes. Hey, I buy them. I'd fly to work in style. Although Iron Man is a fictional character from Marvel's comics, there is actually is a real life Iron Man in today's time. Richard Browning, a 39 year old Royal Marine Commando and veteran from the UK invented a jet suit titled the Day Dallas. Did I say that right? Day Dallas? I think I said it right. He performed a world breaking airspeed course in Limpstone Devon using his 59 pound suit. Oh man, I wish this stuff was available at Walmart or something. In my drawing, I decided to give Deku a little light generator backpack, which is kind of like his main source, which is connected to his boots and to his gloves. To stay closer to Deku's original quirk and ability, I feel like the generator connected to his boots and his gloves would be a lot better so he's able to just use his boots to fly around. An electric portable generator can range from 150 to 20,000 watts, pending. So, going back to earlier what I said about the wood plank or the wood board or that, that, that little piece of wood. Just to demonstrate his combat ability using his power glove. His pose is actually similar to the one inch punch from Kung Fu. Popularized by the master himself, Bruce Lee. He's able to create a powerful impact on his target by combining the biggest muscles into the tiny area of force. Taking down his target with one punch. Man, sorry, I had to say it. I just had to say it. Sorry, I just had to. There it is, folks. Quirkless Deku, flying high in the sky, punching out a wooden board. I hope you really enjoyed this first video and you got some new info from this. If you already knew these facts from the beginning but still enjoyed the video, thank you. Stay tuned as I upload my next video in February. But until then, go beyond. Plus Ultra! <laughs> Plus Ultra. Hey everyone, this is Jordan from Mad Town Studios. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be putting up new content each month down below in the comments if you have any questions for me or if you have any uh, recommendations of what I should draw, please let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more updates from Madtown Studios, tap that subscribe button down below. Well, see you next time. Peace.